Hey guys, Chris here. And my name is Guillaume. Hope you're all doing great today. Uh, we are. Are you? Are you we doing are. great? Uh, yeah, that too. And uh, we are also doing a QA. Mm. Another QA. Sweet. Number four, five? Ish. Four, five. S something like that. Ish. Let's kick off with an interesting uh, comment. This came on the last one. All comments are interesting, but this one was particularly this one interesting. This deserves to be the first one because exactly. it's a fun one to answer for sure. Um, Alan Sharrar, which pedal for each of you would be your desert island pedal? What a classic question. A good question. I'm usually surprised by the questions because I, I don't pick them, he does. <laughs> I do the work. <laughs> but this one, this one, we're like, oh no, we saw that coming. It has to be in there because it's such a cool one. You, you saw it coming, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You start because I have no idea. It's impossible to answer this question. It's like choosing your favorite brother or sister, or favorite parent or favorite kid. It's like, That's you don't do such things. <laughs> Comparing your parents to guitar fiddle? Okay, okay, we're no, going no, no. there. No, we're Comparing doing that, the, we're doing that. The impossibleness of right. this situation. I mean, um, what kind of desert island is it? Do we, <laughs> what kind of amp do we have on that? Des does the amp have reverb? <laughs> like, that would be my first question. I want some specifics on the island. Don't ask questions. This is not a Q and Q. Okay. <laughs> it's a Q and A. All right. I would... Uh, I, I wouldn't say a drive pedal. What? Yeah. To me, I think... Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm serious when I say it depends on the amp, really. I, I would get, like, the dispatch master. Like the Earthquaker Devices Dispatch Master. Oh, wow. It's just like okay. delay, reverb, and I feel like I could probably make more happen with that than a drive pedal. That being said, you know, because I could put the amp on 12, no one would say anything on that desert <laughs> no, island. No. So I'd get my overdrive, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, pro probably that. If it had to be a drive, some sort of tube screamer or like a dual okay. sided, like double yeah. trouble, yeah, 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 yeah. something like that. You would... just mentioned mine. Oh, um, yeah, okay. Like, yeah, that would be mine because it does the low gain stuff yeah. really well, the, the chimey low gain thing. Uh, you can push it with the other side to get more, way more mid range and like a real pushed medium gain drive. Yeah. And that's something I could not live without. Yeah. Like this kind of drive sound. It could be the Pantheon as well. I love that too. And some other True. drive pedals. Uh, but I think I like. The, uh, the double trouble or the clean drive side of the double trouble with every guitar, which would make yeah, it easier if yeah, it's my yeah, only yeah. drive, right? Yeah, double trouble, double barrel, Pro probably. Yeah. Okay, if the amp has reverb, I'll probably go for one of these. If it doesn't have <laughs> reverb, then which desert island has an amp anyways? Yeah, <laughs> or, power, <laughs> or to, power to begin with, you know. But uh, almost every desert island has some sort of a cave or some sort of a oh, right. part, which Natural has reverb, reverb. Uh -huh. or like a clip, you know? And then you just stand on the top of a That's mountain cool. and you have your delay, man. It's, That's really cool. I'd, I'd rock that, yeah. But without drive, ah, it's okay. less fun. Yeah, if I can get I'm some specifics on the island, uh, I'll, give <laughs> can you, I I'll, my give island? You, I'll give you a definitive <laughs> answer. Let can me I, know. Can I choose an island with a cave, <laughs> please? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you can read the name. Last time I didn't, I, I teased you and you didn't get to read a harder name. Is it French? No, it's not. No. Um, okay, well, then it's even harder for you. Jeroen Tenberg. Uh, sorry, first. <laughs> and you can read the whole comment. Yeah, well, okay, edited. thank you. Um, hi, guys, I have a question. That's what the format is for. Well, let's, let's do it. Uh, perhaps for a Guitar Tech Tips episode. Well, too bad we're doing it here. So we'll get my expertise as well, which is exactly what you're looking for, I'm sure. <laughs> I'll explain why I put this comment in here. I'm very sorry for the digression. How important is it to shield the cavities of your guitar? Is it more important for certain guitar pickups than others? I have, cavi <laughs> I have cavities <laughs> and have no issues with hum, but... Uh, I am doing my first one with P90s. Does that make a difference? That is a great question. Yeah. He was mentioning like maybe this is a Guitar Tech Tips kind of Q&A question. Yes, it would be, but you didn't write it on the Guitar Tech Tips video, so I didn't want to cross uh, you know, formats and stuff. Sorry, and the comment was not complete. <laughs> it was kind of like <laughs> that's that. Why it didn't so make it's sense. not I have cavities, <laughs> it's I have now done six kit builds and never shielded the cavities. <laughs> Which makes a lot more sense. I, I'm sure your yeah. teeth are perfect, but yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, see, I'm bad at this, you yeah. do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least you try, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I wanted to ask you what your experience is with it, because you modded tons of guitars already as well and everything. Very and, poorly, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, it, Go for it. I, it definitely depends. I think that some, you know, it's 
kind of obvious that a single car is going to be more prone to interferences and, and, and that kind of thing. So you definitely probably want to shield these guitars more than humbucker mm -hmm. guitars. That being said, I don't do any of it. <laughs> because <laughs> it's... That's your Strat. What's up with your custom shop Strat, the, it, the it, sharp pink one? It has the uh, the pick guard is shielded. So you, okay. you do have the, the metal sheet underneath yeah. the pick guard. But the cavities are not shielded. It's just bare wood. Right? And in my other Strat, it's not even paint inside a cavity because I routed that with a <laughs> screwdriver. But I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. <laughs> yeah, I, I I think it's it's part of that wormhole. You get, get you know it's it's another rabbit hole wormhole. Whichever does it impact the sound? Yeah. When you shield it, I I don't have a problem with noise. I think the noise is a part of what you're getting, and you just have to play louder than it. And so I don't shield it because. I like the sound of my guitar as it is, and I wouldn't want to mess with that. And the noise, it's somewhat under control. It is here, there's a hum, but I don't mind it, and it's part of the instrument for me. So yeah, that's my take. Uh, well, funny enough, we had a similar question in a Guitar Tech Tips Q&A video. I don't and, know, I don't uh, it watch was, them. It was about this guitar, the, uh, our modified DIY uh, guitar, <laughs> which I just destroyed. <laughs> Okay. And uh, these have, uh, but these are P90 pickups, which are the noisiest pickups on the planet. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, it's not shielded. The whole cavity is, you know, as it came, like from the factory. And um, and we, I mean, it's sort of noisy, but it's not stupidly noisy. No, I, I used it with tons of gain on hit the tone, and yeah. it was not a problem. Yeah. I also had it very close to the amps. Yeah. It's, it's a P90, so it will be noisy anyhow, it's whatever you do. Uh, it makes most sense um, to shield cavities in my book. If it's like a P90, then the second in row would be like single color guitars, as you mentioned. Yeah. And with humbuckers, well, I don't think it really helps that much. Maybe, I mean, yeah, because you know, shielding, if you AB it, maybe, but... Shielding has its limits too. Like it's yeah. not gonna solve all of the noise issues from your guitar. Like if you have a single coil, Instrument, whether it's a P90 or a, or a, you know single like actual yeah, yeah, Strat yeah, yeah. or Tele yeah. or what what not, shielding is going to do something, yeah, but, yeah. but it's not going to solve your issue. You if you don't want any hum whatsoever, you're going to need stacked uh, pickups or like a dummy coil for a P90 or that kind of thing, which is going to be a lot more efficient than any yeah, kind of shielding yeah. you can do. But, but still, that will also change the tone. Of course. So yeah. Noise is a part of the sound in my book as well. And if it's not ridiculous that it's not usable anymore, more, it doesn't disturb me. Just use the volume knob and play louder. <laughs> Be louder than the noise. That's, Pro tip. That's my life goal. <laughs> Pro tip. Nathan, spread. Question. Guillaume, when will you make a YouTube channel? We all need one. Thank you. <laughs> I did answer that comment because I, I felt compelled yeah. to explain myself. I, I don't have that kind of energy on the side, to be honest. Like, if you know me in real life, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> uh, no, it's not, it's not really that. It's just like, to me, doing that, doing YouTube is a job. It's, doing, I'm do, it's something I'm doing here, with, which is not really a job when you're working with such wonderful people. Oh, it's something that I'm doing from, for, for uh, other YouTube channels and in French mostly. And to me, that's a job. It's not something that I would do in my free time uh, because I, I don't feel the need to and I'd rather dedicate that time to making music and writing music. So it's a conscious sort of decision of not doing it. Uh, I'm doing it All enough, the time. Yeah. I yeah. think. Yeah. And so, in a yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe somewhere. But. It, yeah, it's probably a good idea to somehow separate private life from work. Even if yeah, work also, is a lot yeah. of fun, it still just makes more sense, I guess, to to keep it yeah, interesting and and and, and it's so much work. Like you know, when I when I see what the the, the amount of time and energy you put in your channel, uh, yeah, and, I mean, and yes. in and what we do for this channel as well, obviously, it's like it is so much work. And if I start that on top of everything that's already happening, I could explain exactly. The amount of sleep you get yeah, if yeah, you start yeah. a channel, <laughs> the amount of free time you have and so. uh, time for anything else. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work and uh, I totally get it. Yeah. I still would love to see Thank some you. stuff you come up with. Thank you. With and, uh, I'm yeah. going to keep making music. 
Yeah, and uh, you can of course follow us on Instagram. He's doing uh, ton, tons of playing stuff and everything on Instagram as well. And, thanks, uh, thanks. Yeah. My, that, uh, plug, that plug was looks so bam. perfectly placed. <laughs> well, oh, you're natural. Yeah, but I'm you also... You should do YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to sweat in here, man. Uh, I gotta open this. Oh yeah. Uh, all right, and then uh, we'll oh, read yeah. the next comment. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, did you pay money for that? No comment, dude. <laughs> I'm Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, though, it was not my idea, <gasps> but it's our <laughs> little conspiracy. <laughs> Oh my god. It's all the wrong names and the right one. Hidden yeah, somewhere. This is, this <laughs> You've been called awesome. in the last couple of years. This is so Guillaume cool, guys. Had his birthday. And we thought, why oh not? Oh my god! Why not? <laughs> <laughs> giving you This is so sick. A shell pink. All the wrong names t-shirt. <laughs> I have been called all of that. <laughs> Mostly by these people. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy birthday, oh, brother. Oh, guys, this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. You have to wear it, though. God, um, right now? This is uh, absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really dig that Jessica is on yeah. there, because I think Jessica was in, like, one video description. <laughs> well, how, a long time. Like, one of the first How is that ones. even possible? Like, it, how it was, drunk I, you have I, to be? Phil was just running out of names. Like, because Gulliver... <laughs> Gilly Boy, obviously, Gil, Jill, the, the German, <laughs> German phonetics, and like, there's, there's, I mean, most of them make sense, and at some point, Phil just went like, hey, Jessica, <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> so that's the story behind it. Thank you, guys. It's, it's pretty awesome. I'm, a, I'm gonna sit like this from now on. Okay, um, next comment is for you, anyhow, so... Uh, Another one. Yep. Bucket of noises. 11.14 is the timestamp of that uh, Strat Tone Challenge video where Dean yep. was playing his high gain tone. <laughs> I was evil. That famous high gain tone. I was evil. Uh, that's the most decent stoner rock tone I heard in a long time. I must reproduce that. Is the boss also on or it's only the earthquake? Earthquaker pedal. Uh, first off, I'm all about stoner rock. <laughs> oh, yeah. Clearly. Obviously. Um, thank you very much. It was a cool sound. OC3 on the drive setting. Yeah. So there was like low octave plus drive on it. And then going into the Earthquaker devices. What is the hoof? Hoof. Hoof, yeah. Hoof. 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 <laughs> and then some sort of overdrive. Really? Yeah, just to tame like the, because if the hoof is last, it doesn't always like, because I had the shift all the way down, so it was like fully open, like ah, massive okay. thing. And, yep. I, and I think I had the, uh, the archer after okay. it, something okay. like that, just to, not, not to add any gain, but just to keep it sort of under control yeah, and yeah, super compressed. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I think that was the single chain for that one. It was a, it was a pretty big strat sound. I was happy with it. <laughs> It was not at all a strat sound. Oh but it no, was, no! It was the biggest Stoner Rock sound. Yeah, yeah it was. It, it I was, loved it. Yeah. It was a monstrous yeah. sound. But thank you. That, that's how it happened. All right, um, Andrew Hayes, I guess. Yeah, hopefully. Um, this came under the Acoustasonic Jazzmaster video. Um, the question now becomes: Which is better, a strat emulating an acoustic with pedals, or an Acoustasonic and its acoustic tones? and emulating an overdriven Strat. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, there's a lot to unpack. Yeah, I have two things to talk about, but you can start, it was your video. Um, well, first off, there is an actual pickup in the Acoustasonic, so... It's not emulating a magnetic pickup. Yeah, there, it, it is a magnetic It is a magnetic pickup. sound. Yeah. So that's that's first, and then you can put whatever pedal you, you want on it. And then regarding just the like the sheer versatility of the instrument, it's definitely a. I think I, I think I say it during the video, it's like Swiss Army knife yeah. for the live yeah. Yeah. musician. You know, it's like it's a compromise to some extent, but it's a good sounding compromise of pre pretty much every guitar you might want. For sure. I would mainly use it um, on gigs, mainly live. 
and especially on gigs where it's like at least 50-50 yeah. acoustic and electric. Yeah. If it's like two, three songs acoustic and the rest is electric, I would still stick to my electric guitar yeah. and pick up the acoustic or whichever acoustic guitar yeah. for those three songs. But as soon as it's more like 50-50, a guitar like the Acoustasonic makes a lot of sense. In my uh, like in my experience with this one, and and we shot the videos for the other uh, shapes as well. It's it sounds, of course, that is all subjective, yeah. but it sounds better than the piezo sound of a guitar only, yeah. like isolated, which is what you're gonna get on 99% of st yeah. stages. You're never gonna have a mic in front of your acoustic yeah. guitar on a big stage or a small stage. Uh, so in that context the acoustasonic is going to sound better and then if you have like super high-end acoustic guitars or vintage guitars and the option to mic them up of course that's probably going to sound better but it's not for every it's situation not realistic. either yeah, yeah. yeah all right um jeron tembeg again <laughs> again he's back he's back um, you did a way better job than i did <laughs> well, <laughs> well jeron will tell us Will there be another hashtag DIY kit challenged? Love that. Probably. Is the right answer. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Probably, maybe. We don't, we don't know, but... I mean, we were talking about it in yeah. the team, obviously, and we loved it as much as you guys loved it. And uh, it was super exciting to see all the, all the um, guitars and oh, yeah. ukes and basses and whatever, cajons and everything. So I would not promise it, but I would say, very much likely, likely so. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah Probably definitely. next year, maybe later, but I guess it would make a lot of sense to do it uh, once more. Working out the details as exactly. well. Exactly. Maybe the time frame could be different. Maybe yeah, yeah. some rules could be different, whatever. But it would be a lot of fun and I would expect it to happen. Yeah. Personally. Yeah. Here you go. Last one. Nicola Babic. 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 Babic, with a, a thingy on the sea? I think that's Babic, but that's definitely Slavic, so I, yeah, could, I couldn't yeah. possibly tell you. Yeah, me neither, sorry. Uh, love your videos. One thing I would like to know is how to treat and take care of roasted maple necks and fretboards. So it's a bit techy again, but mm -hmm. uh, I'd love to hear what you're doing. What you because I never asked this. <laughs> <laughs> Recently bought a Harley Benton Fusion 2 with a roasted maple neck and can't find much info on how to clean it. Should I use lemon oil, etc.? This could be answered in your next Q&A. Well, it will be. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Many thanks for your informative videos and stay awesome. Thank you very much, Nicole. Thank um, you. How do you take care of your roasted maple necks and fretboards? You don't. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever? I mean, that was easy, come on. Um, yeah, I do. If it's a finished neck, just do nothing, wipe it off. Yeah. Um, if you have some sort of like relicking or something, um, like on the back of the neck, for example, or even on the fretboard sometimes. And you could oil it to seal, like, the you tell me. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't have that many maple necks either. I have the telly, and that's pretty much it. And then I don't do anything to it. I have more maple neck guitars or heads. And more experience, so listen to him, <laughs> not to me. Uh, yeah, so the Fusion 2, you asked about the Fusion 2. You don't have to do anything with it because those are finished. Yeah. Okay, so you can use a slightly moist piece of fine cloth. <laughs> uh, and just wipe it off if it's dirty or sticky or whatever. You don't have to oil it, you don't have to wax it, you don't have to do anything with it. But only because it's finished. If it was a natural roasted maple neck or even just maple, you should, of course, um, sort of protect it, and um, I would definitely use oil and wax to do so, because that way it's way more resistant to sweat, to moisture in the, in the air, and everything like that. Um, most people claim that if it's a roasted maple neck, you don't have to do anything with it. Like, don't even have to worry about it, because it's so sturdy and stable and blah, 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 because of the roasting process. Yeah, you don't I have would any moisture not left in it. I would not trust it, and I wouldn't risk um, warping the neck, so I and it just looks better if you oil it. It just looks darker and richer, uh, the, the the color. Yeah, of and, the wood. and and no moisture so within prefer. the wood is not like always ideal either. Like yeah. you want to have like a healthy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, piece whatever of percent wood, is just, nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. So I would still oil um, roasted maple neck, even though it's not necessary officially. Uh, it just looks nicer. But as told, the Fusion Twos are finished, so. You don't have to worry about that. 
that's, and I think you can take off. That's the professional opinion. <laughs> Listen to him, not to me, as usual. Uh, <laughs> I hope that was useful, at least some of it. I hope the rest of it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thought it was. I had a laugh. So yeah, I had and a you were wearing a shopping I'm, I'm, shirt. I mean, I mean, just for that, just for that T-shirt. This is yeah, yeah. pretty incredible. Love it. Love so it. yeah, you guys take care. Leave us some questions in the comment section down below, so we can have many more Q and A's. Uh, take care. Hit subscribe. That. Like the video, and we'll see each other in a few days, I guess. Very soon. Very very soon. Bye bye. Bye.